That's how you turn a good exercise into a great exercise. So that This is how to fix your posture part two, or do these things for better general shoulder health. Because let's be honest, the world is not set up for healthy shoulders. We're sitting all day, we're on our phones all day, we get it, we get it, blah, blah. You need healthier shoulders, you need to have better posture, and today we're gonna talk about one of the biggest movers. The pecs are a muscle that go from the sternum and they move outwards into the shoulder. Now I need to show you the problem with a good pec stretch, because a good way to stretch your pecs is to Put your arm on a wall so that you lengthen your pecs. Pushing your arm into the wall and then turning your torso away. Turning your torso away, thereby lengthening the distance. And you'll feel a stretch in the front of your shoulder. The problem with this exercise, it's too passive. You may notice a difference quickly, but that difference will not last very long. Let me show you ways to make the changes last. One of the ways is to change your center of gravity. So putting your arms behind you and then moving away. So you can see the tension from the pec from here to here increase the longer I, the further I go back. So this is another good way to put tension into the pec but it doesn't really get what I'm trying to get at just yet. So try that for a second, hold it as long as you can, and then try this. Now we take that same idea and we add some movement to it. So watch this. Back on your hands and knees, arms again behind you, then lift the hips. So now, so now we are getting more of an active extension versus just a passive hold. Change a passive activity into an active activity. We can lengthen and control the motion back and forth so we can, we can create some elasticity and a more dynamic stretch into that pec muscle. There's still more we can do. Let me show you another way where this one falls short and we can make it even better. Let me show you. For this one, you're gonna need two weights and a bend. I've got two pretty light weights here for me. This is 50. Then with those weights, we're gonna simply do a bench press, but a fly press. Let these weights go out and slowly let them pull your chest open and bring it back. So you want to go right back, feel your shoulder blades coming back together. You may move your arms up a bit. You may move your arms down a bit. Feel the pull on your pec and then come back. You'll see we're doing, adding a dynamic stretch and we're adding tension, we're adding movement. So this adds tension and movement actively and dynamically so that you can add more elements into your stretching to increase the chances that you will have a healthy shoulder. One last thing, I always suggest you start with the easiest one and then progress your way forward. A lot of times people with posture exercises say they don't work. And one of the number one ways to fix that is to find ways to progress them from passive to more tension, to active to dynamic to more tension, more time. If you can add these elements into your stretching, there's a higher chance that your stretching will be successful. And that's how you turn a good exercise into a great exercise. If you need help with anything else, we have programs for your low back, for your knees. Check the link below. I am actually in my own Patreon leading classes every week to teach you how to have healthier joints. So we go through in detail how to stretch your shoulder. We're doing a shoulder boot camp right now for three more weeks. Sign up at the Patreon below. Thank y'all so much for watching. Like, subscribe, do all the things, comment. What do you want to see next? Thank y'all so much for watching.